Good morning. I'm Kathy Vasquez, the proud principal of DJ Montague Elementary School. And I would like to welcome you and your family to our Mustang family and to our virtual kindergarten registration. We're glad you're joining us. Kindergarten is an important milestone in your child's life, and we're honored that you are entrusting the care of your child to us. Whether you will be sending your first or your last to kindergarten, the experience can be filled with excitement or apprehension, or maybe a little of both. We have an experienced, knowledgeable, dedicated, and passionate kindergarten staff, so please be assured that your children will be loved and well cared for and kindergarten will be a wonderful experience for your entire family. We are excited about working with you to provide a positive and enriching educational experience for your child. Please remember that you are your child's first teacher and it's important that we work together to accomplish this goal. So I believe that I have set it up to where you should be able to see the kindergarten team in Ms. Vasquez. Um, however, if it isn't doing that for you, please, there's a button in the top corner, the top right that says view, and you can select side by side speaker view and be able to see the PowerPoint in our team. This morning, we will share some important information with you about the registration process and our kindergarten program. It is my pleasure to introduce to you, by far, the best kindergarten team in WJCC schools. <laughs> now, I realize at this moment, probably all of the elementary principals are saying the same thing, but they're really not being honest because the best <laughs> kindergarten team is here at DJ. We have Mrs. Klein. Hi, Mrs. Klein. Mrs. Gibbs. Hi, Mrs. Gibbs. And Mrs. Ford. Good morning, Mrs. Ford. And I'd also like to introduce our registrar, Mrs. Turner, and our school nurse, uh, Ms. Wilcox, who are also gonna be sharing some information with you today. So again, welcome. Okay, getting ready for kindergarten. Um, completing registration paperwork and several forms are a necessary part of starting the enrollment process for your child. In order to pre-register your child, the first step is determining that your child will be five years old on or before September 30th. As you are preparing to register online, the system does permit uploading all the requested, requested documents. Uploading requested documents prior to attending your, your scheduled in-person appointment at your school will expedite the final step of the registration process, process. but it's not necessary. You can definitely bring in the required documents at your school when we have a one-on-one -on -one appointment. We are required to see all these verified documents listed on the screen. But we still uh, encourage to start the online pre-registration process, even if you don't have all the required documents. So some of the entrance requirements are um, a health information form, immunizations and physical exam. You can change the slide. So this first form is something that we would have you fill out as the child's health information. And it contains information like your name, phone number, emergency contact, any health issues that the child might have, and then doctor's information. We like for you to have that filled out and um, brought in to us. The next one is the immunization record. This is the one that the county gives out. Oftentimes, um, your physician will just give you a printout of the vaccine record based off of their their copy and that's completely fine. Um, I will review that when you drop it off just to make sure it's complete. And if it's not, then I will contact you. There is a new requirement this year starting um, July 1st that children have to have two hepatitis A vaccines um, starting kindergarten. One, the first one has to be after 12 months of age and then the second one after that. I've noticed that most kids already get this so hopefully it's not gonna be a, a bump in the road for us, but we can review that and work through it as we go. 
And then this is the physical exam form. Your physician, your pediatrician's office should have a copy of this if you're local. We do need this filled out and signed by your pediatrician and brought to us. It needs to be within the last 365 days prior to the first start of school. So it would need to be from August 30th of 2020 on to be um, eligible for us to take it. And then if you have any questions or if you have any medical concerns with your children, feel free to call me or email me and we can set up a time to chat. So parent view, you, um, if you've already registered with student, you have already created a parent view. Um, this will stay with you until your student is senior in uh, high school. Um, with parent view, you will get um, access to grades, attendance, assi assignments, and announcements. So it's definitely something uh, to check on a daily basis. So the next step, if you haven't started the process, is to go to our school website and complete the registration process. Again, even if you don't have all the required documents, we still encourage you to start the process. And definitely follow us on uh, social media because um, any announcements um, that come out for the school will come through that. Um, if you need us, there's our phone number and our address. And to complete registration, um, we have um, set up three uh, drive-through registrations. Um, during this drive-through sessions, um, this is just to give parents a chance to complete the registration by stopping by during a two-hour period instead of scheduling an appointment. Uh, parents will stay in the car and a, D a DJ staff member will come by to collect any of the required documents that um, were not uploaded during the uh, online process. Um, during this process, you also will sign a profile that was generated from the pre-registration. As you can see, we have one today from 11 to 1. We have one next Friday, the 14th, from 9 to 11. And then the last one will be May 20th from 4 to 6. Um, if you cannot make these, no worries. We will, um, you can call the office or I will be reaching out to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment for you to come in and to complete the process. And just please note that uh, this process has to be completed um, for your child to begin school on August 30th. Good morning, my name is April Ford and I'm one of your kindergarten teachers here at DJ. Uh, we've all been sitting where you are right now. We know that you're nervous, but we wanna assure you that your child being happy is our most important goal. We also want to show you that DJ is one of the best schools at WJCC and you, <clears throat> excuse me, your child will be cared for and loved. The kindergarten experience is a stepping stone and an important step in your child's school career. We are here for that important step and we are so happy that you have taken the time to be here. This is a, just an overview of our daily schedule. As you can see, it's pretty busy. And can you believe we fit all of this into one day? Schedules change each year, but we try to fit all of these things into each day. When you come for the drive-through registration, you will receive a ready-to-learn pack. In there is a bag of books, supplies, and things for your child to use over the summer. This has been provided by our PTA and the administration. There are several sheets of ideas for fun ways to help your child develop his or her reading readiness. When it comes to school read readiness skills, some of our children are reading and some are just learning a few letters. Some have school experience and some don't. We provide meaningful activities to extend on what children know and move them into new learning as they are ready. We set high expectations for all of the children but we don't have the same expectations for every child. We will help your child develop physically, socially, and emotionally, as well as intellectually. Um, as Christy said, we do encourage you to um, follow us, um, DJ Montague and also WJC Schools on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, if, however, you're not a social media person, I am not. Um, we do keep our school website updated um, so that you can see the positive happenings at our school and also at the school division. 
So that concludes our presentation. Um, one thing I forgot to do as we started was to encourage you to um, put any questions that you might have in the chat room. But since I didn't do that, we have um, an alternate thing, uh, process that we can use. If you have any questions for us now, if you go to the um, reaction button and just raise your hand, we will be able to see who has questions and we will be glad to answer any of those questions that you might have. <laughs> Don't be shy, it's okay. No? If you feel more comfortable putting in the chat room, you can go ahead and do that as well. No questions? I have oh. one. Can, I have a hand up. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Go ahead. Um, it's actually about before and after care. I know it's through James City County, um, but just I don't. I, I probably have to call them. But do you know if it's just you bring your kids early and they just go in one room, or do they separate the ages? Do you know how that works? Tell you how it's worked in the past. We did not have Rec Connect at DJ this year. It was at um, other elementary schools. The program's open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, you register them through Rec Connect, and if you contact the, um, the program on Long Hill Road, they will be able to help you. The children are all in the cafeteria, um, but there are multiple um, supervisors. They work on homework. Um, it's, it's really very structured. Um, they have game time, outside time. Um, it's not chaotic. Um, our supervisors are really very good and they interact with the kids, but they are all together. Thank you. Welcome. Other questions? We have one. Okay. Mr. McLean, go ahead. You're muted, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Thank you. So my question is, um, how they decide on if they're gonna be coming five days um this next next coming up school year, or are they still gonna do four days and Fridays virtual? Um, the current plan based on Governor Northam's guidelines are that all students will return for five days. Um we have to be flexible. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but our schedule changed many times this year. Um, based on the current um, health metrics, that is the plan. Um, but we, I guess, we'll just have to wait and see until we get closer to the opening of school year. But that is our plan, five days a week for all students. Okay, okay. And my, uh, my last question is, my daughter goes attend DJ Montague now, Elisa McLean. And she will be going into the second grade. My question is, and my youngest son will be going to kindergarten. So my question is, will they wait for them to get on the bus, or how do the how do they do the changes on the bus schedule? Because I know, like first graders or second grade go first, or kindergarten go first, or because I know it's going to be new to him, and he's going to be looking for his sister. Um, first thing to note about kindergarten students is that there needs to be a parent um, or an adult at the bus stop to get them off of the bus. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just, I just, it's just coming from school when they leave school in the afternoon. Okay, when they leave school in the afternoon, it is very, dismissal is very orderly. The students walk out in line with their teachers, and the teachers visually or physically put them on the bus. Okay, okay. That was um, it. That was. If you request, um, your son can probably sit with Alicia on the bus if that would be better for him and if it would make you feel more comfortable. It, it would probably be better for him. <laughs> yes. You can work that out, I think. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh, looks like we have one in the chat room. It's a, it was no questions. Oh, there's no questions. Okay, other questions? 
Okay, um, thank you so much for being with us today. As Christy said, we will have our first drive through registration today beginning at 11. Um, if you are at a point to come by um, and complete that registration process, uh, that would be wonderful. If you're not, no worries. We have the other two dates set up, the 14th and the 20th. And then um, Christy will reach out to you to set up individual appointments later on in the summer. I think we have one more question. We do, it's a question that says, how big are the classes? Um, the there is a target rate for the number of students in a kindergarten class, and that target is 22 to 1. Um, right now, this year, um, our numbers are down, and there is an attempt. We're using some CARES Act money to see if we can't even lower that ratio, um, but it definitely would not be over 22. And there is an assistant in the kindergarten classroom for the majority of the day. Okay. All right. If there are no other questions, um, we hold on. We might have another one. Okay. Um, the COVID precautions that will be in place in August are the mitigation guidelines that we have in place currently. And I'm going to let Nurse April speak to that. <laughs> <laughs> so currently, our mitigation, the, the COVID guidelines are um, everyone has to wear a mask regardless of age. Um, the mask has to stay on and less eating. Um, I don't know if you can see behind us, but we have um, these partitions. So each child has their own little area. Um, we try to keep the students at least three feet apart, if not six feet apart at all times. Hand washing. Um, we do have a symptom tracker that we will send home with you all at one point. And we, would, we ask all staff and students, parents, to kind of assess your children before they come to school each day. Do they have a cough? Do they have a fever? Do they have a runny nose? What kind of symptoms are they having? And the symptom tracker kind of makes it easy because if, if you say yes to any of these, then they need to stay home and go to the doctor. Um, if the answer is no, then they're probably cleared to come to school. So what, what we're trying to do is keep sick kids out and healthy kids in. Um, that's our main goal. And so lots of communication. I have a lot of parents that call me and say, what about this situation? Feel free to do that. And we can kind of work through it. But our goal is to keep everybody as healthy as possible um, and keep them in school and keep them learning. Did that answer your question? Hopefully. <laughs> do you want to talk about the supplies in the classroom? And so forth because I think that's an important piece too that kids just as far as kids don't share supplies you will send in your child's supplies and we, each child has a special place to keep their materials and they use their own things so we're not sharing things like that also currently our water fountains are turned off so every child will bring their own water bottle and we have filling stations for those and then we have um, routine cleaning procedures in place um, the workstations are cleaned uh, throughout the day throughout the school um, doorknobs are cleaned um, hourly, so we also have some cleaning um, protocols in place. Okay, if you think of any other questions, um, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, we look forward to seeing you to complete the registration process and, of course, to uh, meet the children um, in August. So thank you very much for being here today. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Mother's Day to the moms. Thank you all. Happy Friday. Thank, Thank you. you.